I really like that 1,250 pound shirt. Yo, Rogue Challenges, AKA the gold standard of the online review process, at least from what I've seen. I don't really know all that much, but the first thing that I'm going to pull up is this 1,000 pound club thing. And the first thing I wanna point out here is that this year, they have a 750, a 1,000, and a 1,250 pound club shirt. And at some point in the past, I had spoken about how this would have been a much better competition had they had had separate shirts for separate clubs. Because if I recall, last year they just had the 1,000 pound club. And it's like, okay, but wouldn't it be cooler if it was just like high school and then there were different clubs and the stronger people got different shirts and this year they've got them so potentially they're not listening to me on my youtube channel but i'm guessing that somewhere else out on the internet somebody said something and they're listening and that's cool rogue listens to the people the other thing that rogue does incredibly well is they have this frequently asked questions page the rogue 1000 pound clubs faqs is the shirt included in the registration when will i receive my shirt my score is not accepted can i submit another another my score is rejected. Can I have a refund? No, you can't, you freaking idiot. If I don't have rogue equipment, do I have to weigh it? You've got to weigh it either way because this is a rogue challenge. This is something that they do. If you're in this competition, you've got to weigh your weights, regardless of whether or not they are rogue weights. And you got to use a digital scale. They have little things to tell you what to do if you're in a competition group setting. Everyone's got to say their names. They have a three biggest mistakes that they see when submitting a score. Your butt coming off of the pad on the bench press because it's a squat bench and a deadlift. On the squat, filming from a bed angle and not going deep enough. Make sure that you re-rack the bar on assist and do not drop the bar backwards from the top of the lift because those will not count on your back squat in this competition. The deadlift, wearing lifting straps, <laughs> Spiegel, or dropping the bar from the top. So basically you can't pick it up and drop it. You need to follow it down to the ground. Again, right there, three biggest mistakes. You read that section, you can't mess anything up. And if you do, they point to the, hey, we have it in the FAQs. Before I move on to the next challenge, I wanna talk about their most recent challenge. So if I go to the leaderboard and then I filter by the triple challenge, the competition was three separate one minute AMRAPs. It was a kettlebell, 53 pounds for the men, 35 for the women, I believe. You had to do as many reps as possible on one arm of the kettlebell press, strict press, one minute AMRAP of strict weighted pull-ups, and then you had to do a one minute AMRAP of single-legged squats, all on one leg. In the men's division, the person who had won this name is CJ Gerald, and the person in fifth place, I know that name, that's Luke Schaefer. And the person in second place, his name is Casey Acri. I thought I had known that name before, and this is an adaptive athlete. Casey Acri could not complete any of the pull-ups on this, weighted pull-ups, right? Right now it's the AMRAP strict weighted pull-up that is three pounds second. And I need a zero, so I'm just taking a zero. But I have to have a weight on Casey Acri sits in second place amongst everybody else with a score of 69 reps. Nice. 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 Person who won got 71, the person in third place got 66 repetitions, and this is an accumulation of all of the repetitions. So total reps on the press, total reps on the pull-up, and then total reps on the single-legged squat. Casey Acre finished his second place without doing any of the pull-ups. I mean, come on, that's sick. So I wanted to talk about the 1,000 pound challenge, but I know after having seen that, that I had to talk about that because it's so freaking cool. Just freaking throwing around that kettlebell on the press like it's no one's business. And now I wanna talk about their next challenge. First of all, this shirt is cool. It's yellow and teal. The ski lift challenge. It looks a lot like the pump and row where it was a 2k row and then it was max bench press reps and then you had to use I think it was your body weight and every single time you got a bench press rep it took off a duration of time on the amount of time it took you to do the 2k row and this time around it's a 2k ski and every time you do a double body weight deadlift it's going to remove 10 seconds from your time on the 2k ski. Yes correct. This is done in a 20 minute window and the tiebreaker is your first 500 meter ski. They have not not yet announced the flow of the workout, but if I recall, the bench press set had to be started within a minute or so after the completion of your 2K time. So myself being a 200 pound man needs to do this at 400 pounds. How many deadlifts can I get at 400 pounds? A lot. Can I use grips? No, you can't use grips. We already figured that out. You also can't use baby oil, tacky of any kind, hand grips, lifting straps, braces, bench shirts, elbow sleeves, knee sleeves. You can't use freaking anything. It doesn't matter. It's raw. This is raw. 
It's just wrong! The other thing I can't seem to find on here is whether or not there's a drug policy for competing in this. The 1,000 pound challenge is open right now. I really like that 1,250 pound shirt. I can definitely hit something in the 1400s. My best lifts ever are 615 on the deadlift, 490 on the back squat, and 375 on the bench press. I've never hit those all in unison, and I'm under trained on the power lifts, but I know I'll be able to get that shirt. So we'll see if they'll let me have it. And then that ski and deadlift challenge is right in my wheelhouse. I think I could probably rattle off 20 or so of those deadlifts at 400 pounds. The thing that I like a lot about this is the fact that they are very, very clear on the movement standards. I hear that it's quite a fickle review process and they don't mess around. So if you don't show your weights being measured, you're SOL. And like I said in the beginning of this, I think it's incredibly cool that they are evidently listening to maybe myself, maybe the people in the forums and the chats and the Facebook comments, because I know I've seen it around that they're giving different shirts for different levels of weight being lifted and all they're trying to do is improve everything. Take notes again, CrossFit. Everyone's just trying to help whether or not you want it. Good job, Rogue. I'll see you on the leaderboard. Andrew Hiller, out.